Hey everyone, welcome back to MNMM Miles. This is Man Mohit. Now guys, in today's video, I am going to share another of the five most repeated essay topics with their ideas of all time. So previously I created a video where I shared five of those most important and most repeated essays of all time and shared their ideas. Very popular video, I would say. And another one, which is the part two of that, another five essay topics with their ideas as to what sort of ideas can we think of in the exam and use them. Because these are those essays which IELTS have been repeating from a long, long time. And there is a chance that you may also end up getting one of these essays in your real exam as well. So without wasting any further ado, let's dive right into it. All right, so the very first one is, some people believe that to be successful at a sport, you need a natural ability. Another thing that hard work and patience can make you successful. All right, so there's two parts of this essay. They want us to discuss both views and give our opinion. So we always have to understand in the IELTS exam, in the essay, this is the most important part, their question. Whatever they ask, we have to make sure we answer every single thing. If we do not, does not matter how good of an English we have written down, we cannot get a full band score in our IELTS essay. So we, what we need to do in this one is we have to discuss both views. So you have to discuss both of the statements that have been given. And also we have to give our own opinion. So that means we have to favor one and we have to not favor the other. So the question is, to be successful at a sport, you need a natural ability that you just need to be born with a talent. And some other people think that hard work and practice can make you successful, right? So as per my personal opinion, what I believe is hard work and practice can make anyone successful. If you if you do sheer amount of hard work and have a lot of dedication, practice a lot, train yourself very hard, you can be successful at any sport. This is my opinion right away. Your opinion could be pretty much different. Your opinion could be, doesn't matter if you do a lot of hard work, if you are if you do not have a natural talent, you just cannot be too successful at a sport. Everyone has a different opinion. But what we need to understand is we need to discuss both of the views. Now, they did not say you have to give, you have to agree to both statements or you have to disagree with both statements. They just wanted to discuss both of the views. So you can give negative of one point and positive of another, or you can just give positive of one point and negative of another. It's completely up to you. What I would do is I will give a positive for both of them because it's easy for me to understand. It's easy for me to derive a positive idea, then a negative idea, and then at the end I can give my opinion. So to be successful at a sport, you need a natural ability. In this one, the idea that I can use is, yes, in order for you to be uh, good or successful at a sport, you need to be born with the talent because does not matter how much hard work you do, if you do not have the passion, if you do not love the sport, if you are not physically abled, or if you do not have the passion or the athleticism or anything like you can say in there for becoming a successful person in that sport, does not matter how much hard work or dedication you give towards that one, you just cannot be successful. So this is what you can say in having a natural ability and then you can support it by giving an example. Now. In the example part, it's not important to, for you to give a true example or a factual example. You can just create any person and just say, look, that person was successful because he was born with that talent. So I can right now say, let's say Alexander Phil. Let's say I go with this name. Now, even if this person does not exist, I'll just use that name and I can say, for example, Alexander Phil became the world's most famous boxer because he was born with the natural talent of boxing because he he was built different he was built strong and he got all those qualities from his father so that means he was born with a natural talent and when i have to discuss the other part where it says that hard work and practice can make you successful you can say yes uh, there are many chances that you may not be born with the passion or maybe with the uh, with the talent of that particular sport but because of the family pressure or because of uh, the poverty or because of the person needing money being financially stable uh, they can work really really hard train themselves from a very young age and then compete in sports and become the best in that and for example right now i can say for example um, jordan smith okay 
For example, Jordan Smith became the world's most famous basketball player, even though none of his family member have ever been in basketball and his favorite sport from the very beginning has been skiing or tennis. But because he wanted to be financially stable and support his family, he started training at a very young age and then ended up becoming su successful in that particular sport. So you can give a positive about hard work and practice. So that means I've discussed both of my views and when I have to give my opinion, I can just simply say, um, I do support both of the statements. However, I believe that hard work and practice can make any person successful provided if they train at a very young age and they give it all it takes. Something like this just to conclude and just to give your opinion. So that's essay number one. Essay number two, some people believe that there will be a reduction in air travel in the future. Do you think that this trend is a positive or negative development? So now the question, so this is the topic. And the question that they're asking us is, do you think this trend is a positive or a negative development? So you can give a positive statement. You can give one negative statement or you can just give both positives or you can just give both negatives. That is completely up to you. For me, easier version is to give one positive and one negative because then I can kind of explore different kind of ideas. Statement is some people believe there would be a reduction in air travel in the future. Do you think this trend is a positive or negative development? I can say this trend is a positive development because of the cost of living, uh, the cost of living which is rising every single day and people not able to work long hours nowadays. They cannot afford to travel by air, let alone, you know, do multiple trips in a year or something like that because they can't afford. The only thing they can do is they can afford to just live and eat and pay their rent or pay their mortgage repayment on time. They cannot afford to travel. That is why it is believed that there will be a reduction in the air travel in the future. So that could be so one that could be one side of the story. And then in terms of positive development, sorry, in terms of the negative development, you can say, no, that does not sound true because of the world coming closer every single day. The more and more airlines are opening up with their everyday deals and vouchers where the air travel is becoming more and more affordable for other people. So more and more people are preferring the air travel over any other means of transport. So that means this trend is uh, not accurate. And in the future, we can see an increment in the air travel between other people. So you can just give either this idea or that idea or just give both positives or just give both negatives completely up to you. If you would have realized I am not kind of being very fancy with the ideas over here, right? Because the idea is not to be very fancy and complex with their ideas. What I else want to see from you is how much of like, what's your command over the English language? Like, How well can you can write? How well you can type? Are you making any spelling mistakes, any grammar mistakes? Are you using some good vocabulary words? All these things. They're not concerned about some extraordinary ideas. They just want to see the command of your English language. Next essay I have is some people think that it is the responsibility of the government to take care of the environment. Well, others believe that it is the responsibility of the citizens. Now, again, we have to discuss both of the views and we have to give our own opinion. Now, I'll give you the opinion right away. I would say it is the responsibility of the citizens. Right. So that's my opinion. Now, some of you might say, no, it is the responsibility of both because we are paying so much tax and all that to the government. So government needs to give some responsibility towards the environment. So does the citizens. And in some cases, you some of you might believe, no, it's only the government's responsibility because they're already taking a lot of money from the taxpayers. So they should be the one to take the initiative and the responsibility of maintaining the environment. So now we need to discuss both views. So you would have realized I've already discussed both, but in the first part, I can say, yes, it is the responsibility of the government to take care of the environment because they are, uh, because the taxpayers are paying a lot of money in form of tax to the government. And hence it becomes government's responsibility to spend that money wisely, especially making sure that environment is maintained just so that it is clean and accessible for the upcoming generations. And then in my second paragraph, I can say, it is also believed that it is 
also the responsibility of the citizens at the same time because the government alone cannot just keep and maintain the environment the citizens also need to take a responsibility to make sure that it's being kept adequately clean and also being maintained government can spend money and create new things but also citizens need to make sure that it is maintained on a daily basis and then i can at the end of the paragraph i can give my opinion saying that yes government need to take the responsibility of the uh, environment but also at the same time it should be the responsibility of the citizens just so that because government and citizens when they both work together it leads to a more cleaner and better environment for the upcoming generations so this is what opinion you can give in this next fourth essay i have is now science can now offer people a life expectancy of close to 100 years or even more some people view it as a positive but others believe it creates some problems discuss both views give your own opinion so people are living 100 years or even more nowadays because of science because of the advancement in the medical field because of advanced medicines operation surgeries all these kind of things so some people consider it as a positive thing some say it creates some problems so we have to discuss both views so that means in one paragraph i will be talking about the positives of people living longer and then in another paragraph i need to talk about negatives of people living longer okay so what can we say in the positive of people living longer we can say uh, when people since people are living longer they can pass on their experience and expertise in certain fields to the next generation just so that the next generation can benefit from their experience so that's a good positive point in my negative idea i can say because people are living longer um, something like because people are living longer they are kind of feeling alone and lonely all the time because they do not have anyone to spend the time with or you can say because people know there is an option for them to live longer but then because of the amount of money required for certain operations and surgeries they cannot afford to do that and unfortunately even if they want to live longer they are just not able to because they can't afford that particular operation or a surgery or that medicine or something like that so that could be negative another negative could be some people they go through some major accidents in their life and even after that because of advanced medical technology they can still live but they have to live at a compromise like they cannot live a full healthy life after that for example if someone suffers a road accident and they lose their leg or a arm or something like that and even though they live because of advanced medical technology they just cannot lead a life which they were leading before right so this could be a problem i would say for those people right again it could be a problem it may not be a problem but this is something you can mention in your negative idea and then if i have to give my own opinion i'll just say yes there are certain negatives of this topic but i would say it is a positive thing that people are living longer because they can pass on their generational experience and expertise to the upcoming generation leading to the betterment of the world so this is my opinion you can have a different one but this is how i need to cover all the things that are being asked to me in the essay now last but not the least it says some feel that countries should produce most of the food that is eaten in their country and import as little as possible to what extent do you agree or dis disagree now because they're saying to what extent do you agree or disagree that means they're completely giving the command in your hands you can either agree agree with the topic or you can just disagree that's completely up to you you can either just agree in both paragraphs you can agree or disagree in two paragraphs you can disagree in both paragraphs that's completely your decision statement says some feel that countries should produce most of the food that is eaten in their country and import as little as possible now what i'll do is i'll give one agreement point and i'll give one disagreement point as well for agreement i can say yes people should produce most of the food that is eaten in their country and import as little as possible because if people are producing the food in their country it increases the amount of jobs in that country that means it increases it it enhances the economy of that particular country because more jobs are being created when everything is being produced within the country also at the same time it helps to keep the costs low for that particular product because it's a local product and not an imported or exported one so that could be an agreement that could be a positive point and how can i disagree i can say 
uh, people uh, like if the food is produced in the country and is imported as little as possible that means uh, sometimes there is a chance that uh, all the food that has been created or uh, has been produced that just stays in the country and there are not many people to consume that so that may lead to a lot of wastage whereas if that product was imported to a different country or if uh, uh, ex sorry exported to a different country in that case uh, the country would have earned a lot of money from the other country in terms of foreign currency and also at the same time they could have just been uh, very great with making sure that the costs are maintained and the economy and still there is a benefit of having you know just a surge in the economy I would say. Another negative you can say in this is if they import as little as possible what can happen is people can be deprived of certain fruits and vegetables which can which are only grown in different countries for example there's a specific fruit which can only grow in australia or there's a specific vegetable which can only grow in canada so if there is no import that is happening that means people cannot have the luxury of eating those fruits and vegetables however if the import was to happen people can enjoy all the different types of fruits and vegetables that are available out there so you can give one point of agreement you can give one point of disagreement and in the conclusion, again, if you want, you can give your opinion. If you want, you can just kind of give a debatable opinion saying that, yes, it is, a, it is a good thing that the food is produced within the country and not imported. Whereas on the other hand, there are certain negatives to that as well. Or you can just be in favor of that, or you can just be in dis disagreement of that, or you can just give a debatable opinion. That's completely up to you. Or you can just skip the opinion altogether because have, as you can see, they have not asked that in the question itself. I hope this video was helpful. So this is what I wanted to share in this one, giving you five of the most repeated essays for our IELTS exam. And this applies to both academic and the general exam. So whichever exam you're giving. If you have any sort of questions, do make sure to leave them down in the comment section below and me and Mohit can reply to you guys as quickly as possible. If you need any such specific content from us, could be any module, writing, reading, listening and speaking, any certain topics that you're concerned about or anything you need additional help with, you can leave them down in the comment section below and we can make those videos on a priority basis as compared to the ones that we have got planned. All the best if you have got, if you have got your exams coming soon, stay safe wherever you are and I'll see you all in the next video.